let's just get down to the nitty gritty, bro. Is Kirk the guy? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> I think that's a smaller question to what is the ceiling of this team? Is it a is it just Super Bowl or excuse me, is it playoffs or is it we're kind of rebuilding because we don't know what we are? Like, what's the identity? Is it pass offense? Is it run? They said, oh, Justin Everson said, oh, the pass offense this year is going to be awesome. We just changed it up. But it's like you have Dalvin Cook. You have a crappy old line. What's I'm I'm on the other side of it. I'm not saying this team is going to be a Super Bowl contender, but I'm not going to be surprised when this team has 10 wins and they're in the playoffs. And Justin Jefferson is having a Cooper Cup type season. I think he's going to be utilized so much this year. They're going to have him everywhere. They're going to have him outside. They're going to have him in the slot. Maybe even getting a couple of jet sweeps if they can. Mm-hmm. I think the offense is going to be a whole lot different this year. Kirk is a guy that can put up good numbers. He can get you through the regular season. I when agree. it comes down to the postseason, that's where it's shaky. He has to answer some questions for me. He's won playoff games. He's beat the Saints in New Orleans in a hostile environment. <laughs> is that not true? Yeah, he did. He lost to the Super Bowl team that year in the Viking, the, to the 49ers Niners that were just clear cut better yeah. than anyone in the NFC. But yeah. I would say this. That game that he did win, he wasn't the reason why they won. I think that was a team effort. Yeah. I and mean, he's not the type of guy that you're like, you know, here's the he's ball not 50 win you the times. Game. But he's, I think he could put you in a position to win, but he's never going to be the guy where I think. Yeah. It's not like when he has the ball with two minutes left and they're down by four, you're like, that's gonna, he's going to score. Yeah. You're kind of like, oh, shit. I just, he, he needs to show me. Yeah. He, he needs to show me what he can do. But him propelling them to the playoffs, not out of the realm. I think this team is flying massively under the radar because the NFC is weak this year. And really, besides the Packers, their division's not that tough. Like I think the Bears and the Lions are going to be bad this year again, but I like the I like the Vikings going forward. So you see them as a playoff team. I see them as a playoff team. Wow. What do you see them as? Well, you know it's tough. Um, I would say that they're a fringe playoff team. Um, you know they they were last year. I think as long as Dalvin Cook and and the rest of their offensive weapons, Justin Jefferson. Um, can can stay healthy. I, I'd say primarily uh, Thielen, Jefferson, and Dalvin. Th- those are the three best offensive players. If they could stay healthy, then I can see them, you know, making the playoffs this year. They won eight games last year, right? So with then all that stuff going on with Zimmer, yeah. And I I would say they had a worse team last year. I think they're in a very weird, like position where it's like we have some established veterans and we Uh also have this huge youth movement that's brewing where it's like we have cameron dantzler we have lewis seen yeah we have um uh who's the other guy andrew booth we just picked up and we also have guys like daniel hunter who hasn't played in two years who could just come onto the scene and just like show why he's been one of the best edge rushers in football right over recent memory so i think that's what's weird about this team that's why i'm kind of on the fence like i haven't decided yet if i'm over or under on them well, I'm going to start it off. I'm definitely going over. I think it's an easy Eight and over. a half, right? Yeah. Eight and a half. So you're going over. Joey? I'm actually going. Um, I've decided to go under. Okay. I, I've decided to go under. And, I, you know, the reason why is I I feel like with Zimmer, they're they're going to take a step without having him. They're going to is step there back. a step back to go on defense? They've been terrible. I, I, I think maybe the them. fresh a fresh voice in they the room. They need a as fresh hell. start on defense. That was the main reasons why they got rid of Zimmer. It's like, okay, dude, you're you're but a defensive minded coach. I and feel our like he's back. a solid coach. Though. No, I think he's solid too. I just yeah, think he, at the end of the day, the message got a little stale. I mean, if you're going to say Mike Zimmer's tenure in Minnesota was a failure, you're on drugs because yeah. he got you to the he, a- he, AFC. I was say it seems like he went to the playoffs almost every year. Yeah. My whole philosophy with head coaches, uh-huh. it's like. What 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 are you specializing in? Are you an offensive guy? Are you a defensive guy? Or even like Basaccia or or John Harbaugh, special teams guy. Uh-huh. That part of the team better be fucking good. You better have a great fucking defense if you're a defensive guy. Or if you're an offensive guy, the offense should be something not to worry about. Now in Zimmer's pass, no questions. Their defense was always good. But it got sour. These last, I would say, three seasons. It's been fucking bad. Do you think Kirk Cousins have has anything to do with that? 
No, I think that's more of a GM thing. Or maybe they didn't invest the right money in getting Zimmer the assets. But at the end of the day, he still, I think he had a good enough team to coach where they could have been a little better.